In this window, you can see the sign up option. Here is the username option. You just need to enter SAG for your username and here is the password option. You just need to enter 1234 and just click on sign in option. After sign in option, you redirect it to your GST software dashboard. In GST software, here is the sales invoices related to e-invoice. In e-invoice segment, Firstly, we need to select e-invoice. Here is the all client details appears. In all clients segment, we just need to select particular client and just go for, here is the client code option also available. After selecting the client, we go for the setup option. In this e-invoice, setup is the mandatory part for the invoicing setup. In this setup, we configure it for particular year. Here we can select the year and also we can select the particular date range and for particular client. After selecting the particular date range and the year, we just need to configure some settings below mention here is the like do you have e invoice details if you want to select the e invoice detail just uh, here is the mandatory part like irn number and irn date if uh, these are the mandates mandatory parts then our software will automatically configure it as a yes and if uh, there's uh, something uh, non mandatory part then our software didn't uh, uh, check that particular like uh, if uh, do you have eway bill details then you can select transporter id this is the mandatory part and transporter name is the non mandatory part so we didn't configure it the yes if you want to enable the these options then you have to check this option and you have to save the details after saving the details you just go for the receiver section in receiver section all the receivers will appear here you just need to select the particular receiver and you can uh, modify this receiver you also can add the receiver details uh, from importing their gst number after uploading uh, the receiver details you have to furnish the invoices related details you just uh, go for the invoices section in invoices section here is the summary and the details option in this window, uh, here is the e-invoice uploaded. You can check the total e-invoices uploaded. You can check the e-invoices pending and you also can check the e-way bill uploaded and e-way bill pending. And the total number of invoices appears here. Here is the import facility available. You can import the e-invoices. In import facility, you can just download the sample template and just copy paste your data in the sample template and just import from here and uh, your all e invoices details uh, appear in this segment here is the uh, head wise uh, invoice summary appears here like here is the b2b section here is the four records available in the details section just go for the details here all the e invoices details appears here here is the legal name of uh, here the modify option you just modify the complete e invoice details after uh, selecting the modification option here is the invoice detail like dispatch detail if you want to uh, change the dispatch details you can just select the dispatch details here and just press ok option here is the consignee detail here is the export detail and uh, here is the our transporter details after uh, completion of this process we just uh, we just also add any remark in the particular invoice and we can save per, uh, the particular remark after uh, e invoicing we just go for upload e invoice here is the to be uploaded and uploaded e invoice section in the uploaded e invoice section uh, we can get the acknowledgement number of the all uploaded e invoices also we can check the irn number and ack date here here is the to be uploaded here is the uh, to be uploaded invoices here 
in uploaded e invoices section you can also cancel e invoice print e invoice and download the signed json file here here is the mis report section here is the e way bill facility available in e invoice section we just need to select particular to be uploaded e invoice and we can generate a json file from here for generating the json file we just need to check this particular invoice and here is the generate json option just click on generate json here is the login upload and get ir and details select particular details and click on upload section here is the below downloaded json file uh, here just enter username password and uh, enter captcha details and press ok your e invoice submitted successfully this is the our e invoice segment uh, in our gen gst software thank you